Okay, so we're going to enable screen sharing and Ubuntu 21. This should be pretty easy. We shouldn't need to do anything special like we did in Ubuntu 20, where we had to adjust the Vino encryption method to get VNC to connect. We had to disable encryption. I believe in 2104, the encryption is disabled by default, and I don't think it's using Vino anymore. So let's go and set this up. So this is just a default install. There's no updates or anything like that right now. So we'll go to settings. We'll go down to sharing. We'll click at the toggle at the top to enable sharing. Then we'll, we can adjust our the name that appears. This is fine for me. Click on screen sharing. We will enable this toggle as well. Allow connections to control the screen. We will allow that, yes. So we have two options here. We can say new connections must ask for access. What will happen is when you initiate your VNC from another machine, a pop-up will appear on the screen that will require someone on this screen that has access that's logged in to click allow. We may be able to show you that later. For now, we're going to say require a password and we'll just do our default password. The network that we have is the only network that we're connected with at the moment, and it's going to be network connection one. We can close this up. So once that's closed up, we can load up our VNC viewer. So I'm just going to use real VNC. Okay, so here is our real VNC. So I'm just going to put in the address here. I also have it set up right here. So this is just the default settings. I just put in the IP address. Haven't changed anything else. You can go to automatic. And we'll click OK. So we'll just double click on here. It's going to ask for our password. Put that in. And it's going to pop up. So this is an issue that may run for a few minutes. What this is doing is it's trying to detect screen resolutions for the VNC screen. Just let this run. It may take a few minutes. So if you do get this and it doesn't stop, you could always switch VNC viewer to ultra VNC viewer. I find that that one also works pretty well and real VNC sometimes gets into this. Okay, so if you do get this black screen, it says uh, it's got a bagged rectangle and it's kind of hunting for resolutions. I find that to get around this, because we are connected currently, it's just not able to display the screen. I can see my mouse moving a little bit on the machine itself on its, on its screen. So what we can do is we can just go up to the settings here what I find works is setting the picture quality to high and setting your scaling to 100% and clicking OK. It should find a correct resolution and you should be in and good to go. I can full screen that. And now we are on our Ubuntu 21. And we can see here. We have an orange icon indicating that we are currently screen sharing. And this icon shows up both 
on the actual machine as well as the VNC side. So if we pop over to the non VNC machine, so you can see here I'm on the VNC machine. So what I'll do is I'll just minimize this and we'll switch on over to the actual machine. So here I am on the actual machine. You can see that uh, the screen is being shared. Okay, and if we select turn off, we'll get disconnected from our VNC session. So let's take a look at the other option that we have, which is screen sharing without a password, but a new connection must ask, ask for access. Let's enable that. And we'll go over to our VNC and we'll try and connect. Okay. So we can see here that we get a pop-up that this machine wants to connect and I didn't click it so it popped up on mine. Let's try it again. So we have refuse or accept. Let's click on accept. Okay, so in VNC we get a new pop-up. Don't warn me again. And our VNC is now connected. So, so if we close this up and we go over to our VNC viewer and we double click this, it looks like each time someone will have to accept that. So I'm clicking accept on the actual other machine. So this will remain connected. And if we disconnect, then when we want to connect again, we will have to accept that connection. Okay, so that should be all you need to get connected to Ubuntu 2104 with VNC.